All right, so we have the new data download available for the JP side of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, and we have a couple new cards that are available for the World Tournament. I know everyone has probably already covered this, but I wanted to make sure that I got you the information because it looks like that when the information came out, everyone just covered the images, at least at this, up until this point. So let's go ahead and talk about the cards. First off, we have new cards, uh, new Physical Kami and Great Ape Goku, the agility one, Dokkan Awaken. So that's freaking awesome. We have an Agility Vegito World Tournament Reward, which is pretty cool. Uh, I like it. He kind of stinks, in my opinion. He's not going to really be viable, but it's cool to have him. Uh, then we have a new Intelligence Jackie Chun SSR, and he do has his own Dokken Waking along with the tournament, which is awesome. And we have two SRs, Ranfan and Strength Yamcha. So, nothing great, that great. The, the Intelligence Jackie Chun's pretty cool, don't get me wrong. Um, it'll be useful for, like, the Hercule events, because he's a category leader for World Tournament cards. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into it. First off, Ranfan, the SR. Uh, you know, I don't really find her that great. She does a key plus two for the Pitchy Pitchy Girl category, and attack and defense plus 20% up. So, I guess that's cool for when you're going and doing the Master Roshi event for the Turtle Shells. Um, so, she'll help out a lot with that, um, if you don't have the... Um, uh, Khalifla. Because Khalifla does really good. It's like key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 50%, which is really good. Anyway, um, Oceanic Training, Extraordinary Damage, I'm pretty sure that's extreme. Um, and sometimes Fainting. I guess that means Stunning. So she's a Stunner, it looks like. And Physical Stunner, that would be pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Don't take, don't take my word for it, but I think, f uh, sometimes Fainting means sometimes with the chance to stun. Um, when Guard is activated, further damage reduced by 40%, only worth, um, and only once during that, attack plus 100% up. So I guess for only one time, she gets attack plus 100%. Um, and whenever her guard is activated, the attack the, the attack that's coming into her is reduced by 40%. So she's a defender. That's pretty cool. Uh, she's a defender, and it looks like she has the possibility to stun, which is awesome. Um, and then she has some basic link skills over here, which is, um, I think this is the, the uh, you know girl power one, uh, female fighter. Brain Faction, Brainiacs, uh, Coward, Dragon Ball, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, and Mystical Adventure. So that's awesome. Overall, not a great unit, but she's decent for damage reduction if you're going up against the Mono Intelligence team, um, or more of an intelligence-based uh, attacker if you're going up against an enemy like that. Uh, overall, wouldn't run her, but she's cool to have. Uh, collective purposes, anyway. Yamcha, this is the other Yamcha. So, Vigor plus 2, so it's key plus 2 in the Tenkaichi Budokai category. HP and attack plus 20%. That's actually really not that bad. It's pretty cool. Um, I like that. Wandering, uh, the, the Wolf Fang Fist giving oversized damage. I'm pretty sure that's huge damage and lowers attack, which isn't bad. Uh, cheering from Bulma. Seven turns from the start, own, uh, own key plus 3 and attack plus 40%. So, that's actually really not that bad. Um, he's not a great unit at all, but I mean... Um, let's see, attack of 6,700 6, is really kind of shitty, but uh, overall, pretty damn good passive skill if he was a better unit. <laughs> uh, shocking speed in fighter uh, speed type, uh, I think that's shocking speed. That might be shocking speed, I hope that, that would be cool. Um, this is a speed type and then attack, so I don't know what the heck that actually means. Attack plus 300? Uh, I don't know what, what link skill that actually is. Guidance of the Dragon Balls and Mystical Adventure, pretty cool, I like it. Uh, not a big fan of Yamcha's, but you know what? Hey, whatever. It's a it's a cool card to have. He's probably gonna be a little bit more common to pull, and he's a strength unit. Um, the next one is going to be the the Dokken Awakenings. We're talking about the Kami now. Kami Dokken Awakens, all attributes key plus three, HP and defense plus forty percent. I really wish they had attack in that. That would be awesome. Um, he gives the opponent super extra large damage. So I'm pretty sure that's supreme and greatly lowers defense. His passive skill, Advice of the Martial Arts, all of the Strength of Allies, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 25%. I'm pretty sure that means super type allies, uh, just because he is a physical, so all strength allies doesn't make sense. And I'm pretty sure the Demon King Piccolo is, I think he's the same for villain type, so it makes it very m common sense for him to actually have a super type passive skill. Just because him and the uh, Demon King, King Piccolo cards, both of them are literally split of one entity, Demon King Piccolo being all the evil and Kami being all the good. So him having a passive skill for super allies is really awesome. Um, plus that makes him a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit more viable on a super team. Um, he has some decent link skills. Uh, shock, uh, breaking the limit is one of them, noticeable. Um, pretty much though, none of these is really going to be utilized on a mono hero team at this point in the game, but I'm sure you could find a reason to run him. Pretty awesome. I really like that fact that they finally gave him a Dokken Awakening. He's, he's needed one for a while. Actually, I think he's one of the few I don't have on the global side. Uh, agility, Dokken Awakening for the, uh, the well, Agility, Goku, Grade 8. Uh, all attributes type key plus 3, attack and defense plus 40%. So the same thing as the Kami, giving the opponent extraordinary damage. I'm pretty sure that means he's keeping extreme, which is in, a little bit odd. Uh, 
Beat of Power. Attack at the beginning of the turn and defense plus 70% up and occasional and has a chance to go great ape makes sense and he gets shocking the limit overall another another good card that you're probably never going to run but it's cool just for having the dragon ball saga which is you know that's what these dragon ball summons are for the world tournament summons are for they're all for dragon ball so you know it's pretty awesome to have him there uh, probably really no reason to actually run him though now here is where we get into some cool stuff all right so now we have master roshi over here the ssr variant um, this is just the one that you were going to want to pull, and it's funny that he actually comes with a Dokken Awakening. Um, you can farm him out from the strike events, so make sure you do that before you Dokken Awaken him, um, if you get him, if you're lucky enough to pull him. He does HP attack and defense plus 50% up, and key plus 2 for the Tenkaichi Budokai category. So, he is going to be your actual leader for Tenkaichi Budokai. Um, super attack... Good Child Sleepy Fist. So that is a sleepy time thing that he did to Goku and made Goku almost fall asleep. Gives the opponent super huge damage. I'm pretty sure that is, um, that, that's probably extreme. And closes death below technique. So he seals, which is awesome. And his passive skill, something of master, uh, wisdom of master maybe. Uh, so enduring knockout damage with own attack and defense plus 50% up and remaining HP 30% at start of turn. So my assumption is going to be um, at attack and defense is going to be plus 50% up when HP is 30% or below, and when HD is... Per actually, that doesn't make sense. Maybe his passive skill is attack and defense plus 50% up, and when his HP is 30% or, um, or higher at the start of the turn, if we get knocked out, he will give you at least one health at, by the end of that knockout blow. Uh, that's what at least it looks like. I know that the, the passive skill looks like it's that Rage Goku... From the when the Frieza event first came out, you know when Frieza first one shot at us, and we had the, had the chance of being one shot at, and I think you had to, either the nail um, or the Goku that you could use to endure the one shot blow. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what this is. So that's pretty cool that we're getting another one of them. Though they're really never they're not worth it because there's only like two or maybe three events where that's that you could actually use that. Anyway, um, overall not really bad. Supreme Warrior, uh, Martial Artist, Tenkoichi Budokai. Um, Dragon Ball, Godness of the Dragon Balls, Mystical Adventure, Aerobic, I'm pretty sure that's like Shocking Speed, I don't know, Brainiacs, and Gentlemen. So overall, not a bad unit. He Doken Awakens, and it does... Oh, actually, we need to hit Awoken. Uh, seven Medals, when he Doken Awakens, he Doken Awakens into this Jackie Chun. And now he does HP Attack and Defense plus 70% up and Key plus 3 for Tenkaichi, Tenkaichi Budokai category. Pretty awesome. <clears throat> it's still the Sleepy Fist. Um, gives super huge damage. I'm pretty sure that's Supreme and Seal's super attack. Um, unfortunately, I can't really make out what his passive skill now does. Um, so I will have to get back to you on that. Um, let's see if we can... Let's see what happens when we do this. Uh, oh, no, no, that is for his... Yeah, this is... There we go. Now let's translate. Let's see what happens when we translate this. Okay, cool. Meaning of the Teacher. Withstand knockout damage with own attack and defense plus 70% up and remaining HP. So when HP is 20% or below, it looks like he will survive a knockout attack. And he gives himself an additional attack and defense plus 70% up, which is pretty cool. Um, and he gets shocking, uh, breaking the limit, which is awesome. Overall, really cool card to have. Again, he is uh, farmable because you have the Jackie Chun from the strike event, so make sure you grind them out. Uh, very worth it. I think he's a cool card to have. Uh, he's not someone you're going to run all the time, but he's going to he, he will probably be useful in events that come available in the future. There's no guarantee there, that's just me speculating. You know, they already use category leads for certain events like the Hercule and the Master Roshi, so I, I think that this is going to come into play in the future. Just because we've had these Dragon Ball um, cards for such a long time, and none of them, except for maybe the Demon King Piccolo for an extreme team, and now the Kami are actually viable, um, unless you really don't have good units. Last but not least, I know you're all probably waiting for this one, is going to be the Agility Vegito that is coming out. Um, overall, I don't like this card. I really don't. Um, I don't think he's good. So it looks like um, agility type is key plus 2, HP and attack plus 50%, which is okay. That Those are the two that you really want to worry about. It just means no one's going to be tanking. Um, big bang attack, extraordinary damage, and for one turn, association. Uh, looks like so attack plus 20% up for one turn. So that's pretty awesome, I guess. I mean, so it's, it's probably supreme damage and attack plus 20% up for himself. Well, for all allies, he would give it to himself if he gets a double attack. Um, his, you know what, we do have the Reddit post over here, so shout out to uh, Dokkan Info for this. Um, other than, we already went over his leader, his passive skill. If he's in the first slot, he gets himself a defense plus 100%, so he does tank if he's in the first slot. And super type allies, uh, plus 30%. So, and then you also have to factor in his, 
uh, super passive, so he's helping everyone out. It's a pretty cool support card to have, but I mean, honestly, at this point in the game, I don't know why Bandai's doing this, but at this point in the game, you're really not going to utilize cards, this card in that way. Support units are meant to be in the last slot. At least that's how we've been playing for such a long time. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below if you think that's good or not. But support units have typically been, we're going to keep you in the bottom rung, in the last rung, because we want our two primary hard-hitting units in the front, and then we're going to have our off-shift guys go. But then again, I guess if you have enough hard-hitting units, you're always going to have a hard-hitting unit in, like, on the, in the field. So having one support unit on mainstay in the beginning to do that, because the Vegitos typically do that, and it give giving buffs, it might be worth it to you? I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think. I haven't done an analysis on that. I don't think I'm going to actually do the math to figure that out. But um, someone probably will at some point. If someone does and, you know, things start, start to die down in life, I will probably do some math to try and figure that out. But all I know at this point in the game... Um, Passives with attack increases should be better than giving an attack increase from a super attack the way that this Vegito does. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. That is the new information that we currently have available for the new cards that are out. Um, I don't think that I would actually, I mean, I, I might go for this Vegito just for collective purposes if I actually played on the JP side when it comes up to global, most likely. But, like, I, if you guys have been following me, you know I have a couple hundred gold tickets. Or, no, not a couple hundred, I'm sorry. I elaborate. I have, like, just under a hundred gold tickets for Dragon Ball Summons, so I'll be waiting for this. I've been waiting because I don't really use those Dragon Ball Summons or those Dragon Ball cards. So, hopefully this comes sooner rather than later on the global side of Dokkan Battle. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Remember to subscribe if you're new. I'm really close to a thousand subs, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for joining me here today, and I'll catch you guys later.